exasperated neighbors. In the Paris courtyard, they're pointing out all the flats where there have been problems. Problems caused by tourists on short holiday lets. Residents say it's a growing source of irritation how their homes are becoming like hotels. It's the noise, he says, and the constant festivities. The whole building feels like it's been invited to their Parisian soirées. It's not just the din. The growing demand for holiday lets is distorting the regular housing market, taking thousands of flats out of circulation that are needed for Parisians. That's the view of Paris City Hall and why it's decided to act. Nous avons aujourd'hui à Paris une pénurie de logements terrible. Today in Paris, there's a terrible shortage of housing. Flats are just too expensive, especially for the middle classes. So we need to find measures to protect housing. Because if residential flats are turned into holiday lets, that means fewer places for Parisians to live in with their families. The city's clampdown is not aimed at people who occasionally let out their primary home to visitors. That's perfectly legal. But at people who invest. Basically, the city says that if you buy a flat for short holiday lets, then what you're doing is taking a residential property and turning it into a commercial property. So in order to maintain the stock of residential properties, you, the new buyer, have to acquire a second property, a commercial property, and turn that into residential. In other words, in order to acquire one flat, you've got to buy two. The city has a team of inspectors to enforce the new rule, but it's so complex and so expensive that few have complied. Property consultant Adrian Leed says that as a result, thousands of owners, French and foreign, now live in constant fear of the knock on the door. All of these people who invested in property here, they didn't get into this thinking they were doing something illegal or wrong or horrible. They felt good about themselves, they felt good about the city, and now they've been turned into criminals overnight. The city says that as many as 20,000 Paris flats are now being let out illegally. Good news for tourists, less good if you live here. Hugh Schofield, BBC News, Paris.